Okay, so welcome back. Uh, this is update one on the, let's see over there, 21 foot tag along trailer by Galaxy. And I'm just getting started here. I've got some ideas. Uh, I've painted the chassis, chassis or frame, and um, it came out pretty good. Um, must say, pretty happy with that. And uh, for that, I just use, because on things like uh, frames and chassis, it really doesn't have to be top-of-the-line paint. And so I actually use this um, Walmart uh, color place. And I use it a lot. Uh, for things like black and white, I use the color place um, because you're going to be painting large areas, usually using up a whole bunch of paint. And it doesn't matter that much. And it looks pretty good. And uh, the thing about it is, is that they get the whole can cost 99 cents so I mean who can go wrong and say so, and you can just spray like crazy without even thinking about wasting paint but I gotta say it turned out pretty good um, on that type on that paint you got to be aware that um, the cure time is longer but um, if you're building in a shed hold on we'll wait for that bug to stop making its noise okay but if you're building in a shed, um, it's hot and dry, and it's kind of like a dehumidifier in here, and it really makes paint cure fast. This this cured in one day, whereas uh, where I used to build, uh, this paint sometimes took like two weeks to cure to the point where it's um, not rubbery or sticky and to the touch. So um, that's working out pretty good. Also painted the axles, so they're ready to go. The ends there, of course, that's just tape around the ends so that they will hopefully still roll on bare plastic. And um, we're set to go on that. Now my idea here, what I really want to do, I'll show how this goes together a little bit. So this um, front piece fits right over those um, rails. At least it used to. There we go. Okay, so what I want to do um, if I can, is I want to um, build the um, whole, there we go, there's a little lip on the edge there that catches this piece that goes up against there and you can glue it. So in theory, I can glue the whole body of the trailer together Get the sides on there and get the top on there, um, probably just minus the tailgate, and paint that separately. Because I hope to be able to um, have this as a separate part that I can paint without having to mask off the the tongue and everything. I, you know, I think it's I just kind of want to do that just to see if I can, and um, we'll see how that works out. And then of course I'm going to have to mask off the the fenders there and paint those black as well and I think I'm going to do that last after the white paint is on and uh, for the white paint I'm gonna be trying something new I'm gonna be trying this uh, appliance po epoxy by Rust-Oleum uh, just to try it um, I saw I've been seeing it there I just really want to try it so there's a paint test coming up I've already got some things set to go some spoons and we're going to be testing that before we, of course, commit to spraying it on here because this is bigger than my strip tank. So um, if I mess this up, I'm going to have to get a bigger strip tank. And um, so I hopefully I'm not going to mess it up. So that's that's my plans is to put that appliance epoxy on there and we'll see how that works. But uh, the next step, of course, is to going to be trying to get this whole body of the trailer glued together as its own separate piece so that I can just uh, spray it without worrying about overspray. So we'll see if that works. That should be next. Okay, and we're back. Uh, this is what I got going on so far. The, um, it looks like it's going to be no problem to get the... this is on the, the chassis and it fits right on there but it is removable. So what I have is all these panels are drying of course and what what I did is I did a, a glue spot about every half inch 
so if it has to come apart it can come apart rather than you know just solidly glued to the point where you would damage it trying to get it apart but um, it could be popped apart again if need be but it fits nice and snug you can see there it's touching all the way around and the uh, I'm gonna be going with the ramp gate and I put it on there just kinda set it on there it's got these little I'll pull it off here I think I'll pull it off here it's funny it looks like it opens like a barn door but it doesn't the it'll be opening like that it's got the hinge points down there at the bottom and uh, I'll just take it off for now now this will be interesting this is I'm um, gonna have to paint this in two separate parts um, it is gonna work out just like I wanted I can p paint the entire um, oh, what would you call it enclosed part of the trailer as one part and then I'll have to paint the tailgate um, at the same time um, but there's, that means it's just two parts to paint I think but we'll see um, anyway it uh, fits on there nice I'll pull it off here one nice big piece so I can um, I won't have to mask anything off there um, I can just paint this everything that you see all white and that will be the next thing I do and then it fits right back on there nice and snug um, it will be interesting here on the tailgate as you can see there's the back side of the tailgate and then the inside is all done in diamond plate and so that um, keeping with the uh, the um, color scheme I've got going with the entire inside being black I have to paint this black so I and rather than paint it black first and then paint it white I want to um, paint the white first because I think that because of all those little diamond um, marks especially on the edge um, it's gonna be hard to mask and get a seal so I'm gonna paint the, um, the white first and then I can make a nice sharp seal with the tape to mask it off and then I can paint that black which I'll probably end up painting it primer then black because I have to hide that black through the white otherwise the tailgate is going to be a lot darker than the rest of it so I will so I'm gonna lose a little bit of um, detail on the diamond plate because I will have to put a primer coat on there to start lightening it up but uh, ain't scared it would be neat and so that's gonna be the next step um, the next update will be the painting of it and that will be in long sections that um, look like they're short but they're actually days apart where the entire thing is going to have to cure and then I'm going to have to mask and paper off the whole thing so that I can get a nice smooth finish on that fender which I think I'm going to go with the um, a silver um, you know look, to make it look like aluminum and that's what's next now this is going to be painted in the appliance epoxy that I the white appliance epoxy that I did in the previous video and there will be no primer on the main part of it and I really think that this detail is going to make it through that so um, stay tuned for the next update it's uh, coming up pretty soon I've got a lot going on right now um, building four of them and uh, restoring my dad's which has to be done in about another week so uh, I got my plate full um, but stay tuned there's definitely gonna be updates coming and uh, talk to you later